this lecture, I will start with a new chapter and we will talk about the different consumption theories that exist in macroeconomics. In particularly, I'm going to begin with the first consumption theory, which is known as absolute income hypothesis. This consumption theory was given by Keynes, also known as the Keynesian consumption function. So Keynesian consumption function. Now, what is this absolute income hypothesis? This says that consumption only depends on the level of my disposable income. So it says C is equal to C bar plus small c y d consumption is a function of disposable income. So we know here, I'll write this down for you. We know here that C bar is autonomous consumption. And we know small c is marginal propensity to consume. So this small c right here, this marginal propensity to consume, this is between 0 and 1. Okay. So, uh, it tells me how my consumption will change when my disposable income will change. Now, my disposable income is actually income minus taxes plus transfers from the government. But I can have cases where my taxes are zero, transfers are zero. So my disposable income becomes equal to my actual income. Of course, whenever you will increase your income, you will not consume that entirely. You will save some amount. That is why the marginal propensity to consume is less than one. The change in income, uh, change in consumption when income changes is less than one, which means that I'm indirectly saying that the change in consumption is less than the change in income. This makes sense, right? When income increases, consumption will increase, but by less amount some amount will be saved. So corresponding to this, we have one minus C, and this is the marginal propensity to save. And this is also between zero and one. It can either be represented by a small s, or you can go ahead and be presented by one minus C also. Either of this is fine, right? Either of this is fine. Now, so, you know, there is another thing that I want to talk about. This is known as the average propensity to consume. Average propensity to consume. What is average propensity to consume? It is consumption by income. Marginal is how consumption changes when income changes. Marginal is the slope of consumption function. But average is simply consumption by income. My income is 10,000. I consume 7,000. Average is 0 0.7. That's average propensity to consume. Now, based on this, there are certain features of this absolute income hypothesis. Let's write those down. Features of absolute income hypothesis or the Keynes consumption function. The first feature is that my marginal propensity to consume is between zero and one. The second feature is that as income increases, average propensity to consume decreases. Now think about this. Supposedly, my income is 1,000. 
and out of thousand, I will consume eight hundred. Now, when my income becomes ten thousand, that's a lot of it. I consume seven thousand. When my income increases to one lakh, how much can I consume? Maybe sixty thousand. Right. When my income keeps on increasing, then then what do I do? So, for example, my income increases to some this amount. I cannot keep consuming, right? My savings will keep increasing. My consumption will keep decreasing. So, consumption by income decreases as income increases, and this is something which we will see. Rich people will save more than poor people because. even if after you've satisfied all your consumptions you cannot consume after a certain proportion so let's try this down try down this is because savings is a luxury it can only be done by rich people so when income increases when people earn more only then people can save makes sense right if my income is just 1000 rupees my maximum proportion of income will go on consumption because i have to meet my needs but when my income increases then i can go ahead and you know even after consumption save more so as income increases my average propensity to con consumption will decrease my marginal propensity to consume will be between 0 and 1 and because my consumption function is c bar plus c y this is mpc but if you ask me what is apc to c by y it is c bar plus c y by y this is c bar plus small c by y so this is my apc my apc is c bar y y plus c so do you clearly see an inverse relationship between apc and y as y increases apc decreases a clear cut inverse relationship okay just some assumptions we have some autonomous <coughs> sorry fixed part of income a uh, fixed part of consumption so there will be consumption even when my income is zero even when here y is zero or y d is zero then also i will consume some proportion so there will be autonomous part of the consumption and uh, and you know at the end we should also go ahead and plot this function so to plot this it's very simple this is the simplest consumption function possible c is equal to c not plus c y d this is autonomous consumption this is my consumption function as a function of income or disposable income this is the slope of the function and the slope is small c so this is absolute income hypothesis that consumption only depends absolutely on income and nothing else there is no other factor affecting consumption consumption is solely affected by the disposable income